Hello, Biology Foundation students. I'm here recording a tutorial on how to do the Dichotomous Key Portfolio um, on this webcast here. And I'm going to take you through this. Um, first, I guess I would like to kind of go through what a Dichotomous Key is with you and then give you some resources to use to make your own Dichotomous Key. Um, a dichotomous key is where you take a whole bunch of stuff that may be somewhat related and you divide it up into um, a identification key so that somebody can easily figure out you know what the identity of any one of those items are. All right, everybody, so an example of a dichotomous key is one that I have on the screen for you here. This is a dichotomous key that is identifying five different plants. And this is my favorite kind of dichotomous key because it's a branching key. It's very visual. And in my opinion, it's a little easier to write. So basically, you start off with a main category right here, the plants. And then you divide it into two subcategories. The word dichotomous means two. So that's why we always branch off into groups of two. So the plants either make seeds or they don't make seeds. Then you take each one of those two and you subdivide it again into two. So the ones that make seeds, some have no flowers, some have flowers. Then each one of those is, <clears throat> is either divided or if you come to an endpoint where it just describes one thing, then you can stop there. If you have more than one thing, you want to keep dividing it until you end up with just one thing. So if it has flowers, then it's a sunflower. It has no flowers, then it's a conifer. Okay? Doesn't make seeds, can either have no true root stems or leaves or does have true roots stems and leaves if it has none then it can either have no root stems or leaf structure or has some roots stems and leaf structure if it has none we call it algae if it has some we call it a moss right if we go back here the ones that don't make seeds and have root stems and leaves are called ferns. So at the very end, you always end up with just one type of plant. This is five plants. You're going to be doing 15, so your key is going to be bigger than this. Just to put this into perspective, this is from a fifth grade class, so you guys should be able to do a bit bigger of one. Here is a second type of dichotomous key. This is a step... Um, more of a word key, okay? Um, for this one, you again start with, in this case, six different organisms, and they're going to do this step by step rather than doing a branching picture key. So step one, does it have scales or no scales? If it has scales, go to two, okay? Um, if it has no scales, then you need to tell it where to go as well because it doesn't really tell you where to go for that one. Okay, for step two, does it have legs or no legs? If it has legs, go to three. If it has no legs, it's a snake. So again, this one's missing a step for no scales. You should tell us what to do if the animal has no scales. Okay, we can continue with this one. I can actually click and drag this one up a little bit and we can see that there are additional steps and they kind of tell you where to go and at the very end once you get to a point where there is no further need to add to subdivide then you call it a um, you know you put the identification of the organism just a different way of doing kind of the same thing that we did here now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using um, some type of Wisconsin ecosystem and picking animals or plants or insects or or you know whatever organism you choose to pick 
and um, making a dichotomous key for that particular ecosystem. Some good resources. Okay, here's one. The website for this, I'm going to put it up here a little bit, um, and I will move myself out of the way. This is UW-Stevens Point. They have a great catalog of different plants. So this is Common Plants of Wisconsin. And basically you can click here to enter and it's going to give you a whole bunch of different types of plants. Um, you can pick angiosperms, which are flowering plants. And really you can just kind of go through here and look at different pictures of these guys and maybe come up with 15 different plants and come up with a dichotomous key to identify those 15 plants. Remember, you start off with something like a main category, so they're all Wisconsin plants, and then you have to subdivide it. So maybe you would do um, flowering plants versus non-flowering plants. Or maybe what you would do uh, woodland plants versus prairie plants. Okay, so you need to have some main subcategories. And And then, or another resource here, this is the Wisconsin DNR website. And as you can see here, it says Wisconsin Wildlife and Habitat. So what you can do here, and if I can make this just a little bigger, um, just going to bring it down a little bit here. You can kind of see that it, it allows you to look at different species. Here's game species, endangered species. Um, if I bring this up a little bit here, we can look at Wisconsin mammals, um, aquatic, amphibians and reptiles here, birds. So you could do Wisconsin birds and have 15 birds and then again have different characteristics where you divide them into to two groups. Maybe you would do um, water birds versus non-water birds. Or you could do um, songbirds versus non-songbirds. Okay? I don't know, I'm just kind of brainstorming a little bit here, but you take your 15, whatever 15 birds you have, could be those that eat nectar versus those that eat seeds or insect eaters versus seed eaters. There's a whole bunch of ways that you can divide it up, but you're going to eventually just subdivide each group until you end up with just all 15 and make sure you put the identification of that animal or plant at the very bottom and also make sure you put a picture. Okay, so I want a picture and the identification. Now you can do this in a variety of different ways. You can do this on PowerPoint, especially if you're going to be doing the written steps, right? Um, is it a songbird or not a songbird? If it's a songbird, go to slide three. If it's not a songbird, go to slide four, something like that. Or you can just do this on Microsoft Word and make the branching key, like I talked about earlier, and use the draw tools to allow you to kind of draw that. And then what I would do is I would save that as a PDF file because once you save it as a PDF, it will lock it into place so that none of those drawings move around and get all weird. Because sometimes when you save it and then I open it, it doesn't look the same. Okay, so that is pretty much what you need to do for this one. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Um, extension 2204, or you can always drop me a webmail. Have a good day.